and my name is Mary Raposa and I'm the Director of Parks, Recreation and Beaches for the City of New Bedford. I'm here at Brooklawn Park today for our annual Play in the Park Summer Food Kickoff event. And as you can see, there's a lot going on. We've had, oh, I don't know, well over 100 kids already participating. We have giveaways, we have free food and lots of activities. And we're going to continue to offer free food and activities here at Brooklawn Park every Monday through Friday throughout the summer. So we're hoping that lots of families will take the opportunity to come out here, enjoy the activities with our staff, and also enjoy the free lunches. We're um, going to be introducing you to our new summer food coordinator, Mike Neves. He's new with the department and um, we'll be handling all our summer programs and we're really excited for you all to meet him. Hi, I'm Mike Neves and I'm the admin coordinator for after school programming and summer lunches. Uh, we are here today to celebrate our summer kickoff for our summer food program. Uh, we're here at uh, Brooklawn Park New Bedford, in the north end of New Bedford, and you know it's a beautiful day to come out, have free lunch for kids 18 and under. We have the splash pad open, we have the Caribbean uh, rock climbing wall, um, we have uh, free giveaways, a uh, pet uh, center where you can touch some pets and learn about them. Uh, we have the Rickerson Center that's actually open today. You can go over there and learn about the Fly Fly program. You can be a, uh, become a Fly Fly watcher. Uh, we actually have uh, COVID vaccine here today, and you know, it's a good time. I just want to make sure that every kid is fed and and to take you know to take away the stress of making sure that the kid is fed from the parents um, we want a nutritious meal for kids when they're not in school you know that they're missing out on that that opportunity to have a, a balanced meal we we want kids to get outside and enjoy you know activities and get that exercise families should take uh, take advantage of this program so they can you know, alleviate some stress of supplying the food or making or preparing the food. They can come here, enjoy a balanced meal of, um, of, uh, of fruits, vegetables, grains, dairy, and, and meat.
So today we have uh, Carabinas is here with a climbing wall. We have a COVID clinic here for folks who still need to get their vaccinations caught up. We have reptiles. It's really exciting. We've got snakes and turtles and frogs and the kids are loving that. We have a giveaway. We have a, a wheel where you can spin the wheel and get a giveaway. And we're also really excited because we're still um, showcasing our Ricketts and Nature Center, which is here in Brooklawn Park and will be open throughout the year and um, offers all sorts of hands-on science and nature studies for kids. So if you haven't come out to see the Ricketts and Nature Center yet, you'll definitely want to do that. And we do have some activities here today from the Ricketts and Nature Center. So we're hoping uh, folks can come out. And of course, all summer long, including today, we have the splash pad. So that's always a really popular um, activity right near the playground. So there's lots to do here at Brooklawn Park. Hope you'll come out and join us. Um, we have lots of families here today. The, um, the free food is for anyone 18 years of age and under. So anyone um, who's within that age group can come out and get a meal. Um, a lot of the kids who come here on a regular basis for activities are school age, but we have toddlers all the way through teens. And um, a lot of the teens are actually working in the program. So you might even meet some of the, um, the teens from your neighborhood working in the parks this summer. We have been um, getting the word out about this activity with flyers on social media, through um, cable access, through some of the other uh, local news outlets, and you know we're we're hoping that folks got that message and that they will be here. But if you miss today's event, don't worry. We're going to be doing this Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. in Brooklawn Park at Riverside Park at uh, Harrington Park, at, um, where is the other one? It'll come to me in a second. We're gonna be doing dinner at Monty's Park and at the Andre McCoy Rec Center. And we also have something brand new this year. We have the Rec and Relaxation Van. So we have a van outfitted with all sorts of activities as well as free lunches. And that van will be hitting parks throughout the city. All of this information with the details is available at the Parks, Recreation and Beaches website at the City of New Bedford website. You can also access it at our nbprb.com website or you can call the office at 508-961-3015. Um, we will be hitting parks all over the city this summer. We'll be five days a week at Hazelwood Park in the South End, but we'll also be 
Uh, once a week we'll be going to Ashley Park, we'll be going to um, Ruth Street Playground, and as I said, there's uh, 16 parks in total that we will be visiting and to get the times for the lunches and the days that we'll be there, your best bet is to either call the office or go to the websites and get that information. The, we have two websites you can get the information at. You can go to the City of New Bedford website, which is newbedford-ma.gov and go to the Parks and Rec drop-down. Or you can go to the Parks and Rec registration website, which is nbprb.com. So NBPRB are the initials, New Bedford Parks, Recreation and Beaches. always excited to offer the Play in the Park Summer Food Program. We know that many families, you know, really rely on the school lunch during the school year and so our program gives those families the comfort and the security to know that there will be a free meal for their family members during the summer. But we also are so excited because we love getting families into the parks. We love getting people outside and active. And um, we love having the interactions between our staff and all of our great residents in the city. And we're really hoping to see you all out there this summer. So we're here at Brooklyn Park by the splash pad. This was one of the first splash pads we put in the city uh, when I started off in an uh, office, and it's going great right now. You've probably seen footage of it. Uh, but this is the Play in the Park program, uh, which we uh, moved forward a few years back, 
it's really uh, a way of doing two things, getting kids out, playing, doing uh, uh, in the programs put together by the Parks, Recreation, Beaches Department. That's all good, a lot of great, fun stuff. And as you can see, uh, if it weren't fun, you wouldn't see all these kids here, for one thing. Uh, secondly, it is a, uh, it's a way of maintaining the continuity of the school lunch program. So uh, the vast majority of the, of the kids in the city get free lunch uh, at school every day during the school year. But when summer rolls around, uh, there's no school, of course. And so we need to make sure kids are still getting the nutrition they need. Uh, to to do everything they do, right? The kids need to eat well, and uh, we want to make sure that we're doing everything uh, to make that happen. And so, uh, there are many sites, not just here at Brookline, Brookline, but but many sites uh, around the city where you can pick up those meals. And so, uh, I just encourage you to look at the city's website uh, for more details, so that uh, your kids or your grandchildren can. Uh, take full advantage of uh, that opportunity. So, and get them out here, especially on a day like this. It's so perfect out. Um, there's not, nothing not to like. Uh, anyway, take advantage of the program. I want to thank the Parks, Recreation, uh, and Beaches Department for all their hard work on this. Thanks, everybody.